Woo. Got that Corona hair. Need a haircut. So it's been about four days since I applied the uh, Carbon X and um, tr just keeping a daily diary, so to speak, on what uh, the changes I've seen so far. So far, it's just a deeper green and it's it's one of those things that I don't know if you'll be able to see on the phone, but it's just and with my eyes, it's just a deeper green. It also, it looks more filled in. Filled in. Uh, my, I mean, my grass was already pretty green before but now it just seems like a deep, a little bit more consistent green everywhere. And also it looks fuller, like it tillered out a lot. And that's just been three days. So I'll keep you posted the next couple days to see, you know, what it looks like. Take a closer look here. So I have noticed this is the second year that I've had this type of grass. And maybe it's just a matter of just, I've, I'm having a, some areas with more mature grass, but this year I've had a lot of these real stocky, parts to the grass that I don't really like but I don't I don't know if that's just a matter of I don't know what causes that kind of thing so here's the close-up of it three days later after carbon X okay it's been exactly five days since I applied the carbon X and um, here are the results so far I still have to mow but I can't mow today because I because I stepped on a nail and uh, my foot's hurting, so let's, why don't we come down here and measure how much this has grown so far. <laughs> so, I'm gonna say five to six inches so right off the bat a lot more growth in a short amount of time with this fertilizer I usually I cut it three and a half inches and it would grow about an inch every um, every four days so it's about an inch and a half so these, some, some blades are six inches it's about an inch and a half difference in height in terms of thickness I can tell I mean this is one of those things you're probably not gonna uh, see on the phone but it's just a lot more dense and it's the color is more consistent all through throughout the whole lawn and um, it, it just looks happier I can't explain it so one of the easiest ways to have a green lawn is the amount of time you mow I mow every four days. Do I have to? Uh, probably, I can wait for two weeks if I want, but I, I am gonna cut half the blades off. But think about it as every time you mow, you chop a little piece off the leaf here. It sends a signal to the plant to grow more, okay? Now, it will slow down naturally when the summer comes because of the heat. So the more opportunities I can tell the plant to grow, the more it'll tiller out, the thicker it'll get. So think of mowing as opportunities that you're sending to the plant. So one of the easiest ways to, to have a better lawn is just the frequency that you mow and also mow taller too, because you think about these are like little solar panels uh, that capture sunlight. Imagine a house with a, with a roof with solar panels, what, what's gonna receive more uh, energy? Uh, a roof completely covered in solar panels or just one solar panel? So the longer the, the leaf, the more energy has to store in the leaf tissue. All right, here we are about seven days from applying Carbon X. And uh, I haven't been able to mow because it's been raining so much. But as you can tell, it's uh, today's mow day, and uh, it's gotten a little tall. So let's measure and see how much it's grown. And uh, in general, yeah, pretty impressed. So I typically mow around three and a half inches, 
and um, I'm gonna say four, where is that? Four and a half, five, five and a half, six inches, seven inches tall. So I'm gonna mow to three and a half. I'm debating on mowing that short because it's gonna, I don't wanna stress out the lawn by ripping a lot of the blades off, by chopping them off. So let me think about it. Ah, what the hell. I'm just gonna mow at three and a half and if it was summertime or it was starting to get really hot, I wouldn't suggest taking that much off the lawn because you can potentially stress it out, um, especially in the summertime. But it's still cool right now, so I'm, I'm going to cut at three and a half. I want to show you the backyard. So if you're wondering how much does tall fescue fill in, that's a question that I get often. Well, I'm going to throw up a video of the beginning of the season this year. I think it was end of February, but I'm going to throw a video right now. And that is how much it's grown and filled in in such a short amount of time. Just to show you that it's it can fill in some areas. So this is looking pretty good. So I'm also going to use the bagger. Uh, this is a perfect opportunity when to use a bagger is when you know you're going to mow a lot and there's going to be a lot of grass clippings. You, what last thing you want is a big mess in your yard and, and uh, grass clippings can contribute to disease when it's packed in there underneath uh, the canopy and also uh, can choke out your, uh, your grass. So I'm going to, since it's pretty deep, I'm going to use the bagger.